Hello Ethan H and welcome to another top 10 video. This is the fourth top 10 uh, so far and you know this is, uh, it's, it's a fun series to do. It's fun doing top 10s. It's when I, back when I did the ECK show it was cool just to make a movie to pick a movie topic and then you're like okay now I gotta break down the top 10 movies of this uh, of this. So this weekend which I will have already seen the movie because I have tickets on February 29th. This video won't come out until March 1st. And I will be, be seeing Dune uh, Part 2 or Dune 2, whatever the title of the movie is. So Dune 2 is a movie I've been really looking forward to seeing. I'm looking forward to talking about it and uh, and watching that because I, don't, I love the first one. I think the second one, the second one just looks so good. But... First, we gotta do that top 10. And Dune is a sequel. There was multiple different topics I could have done. I could have done top 10 like sci-fi films, top 10 other stuff. And so this is gonna be the top 10 direct movie sequel. So the criteria for this list is this can't be the third or fourth movie of a series. This has to be the, the direct sequel to that first film. So, movies like Indiana Jones The Last Crusade or movies like Lord of the Rings The Return of the Kings do not, do not make this list because it's not the direct sequel to those films. So, because those are two films that would definitely make this list. But, I'll do movie sequels eventually. So, that's the fun part about doing this monthly thing is that I'll be able to talk about movies for a very long time. And I made a second rule. My second rule is... I do not include a movie if I do not think the sequel is better than the original. Because I have a bunch of movies on here, and but there are some movies that I don't think the the sequel is as good as the original film. And I love I love the uh, I love original films. I love origin stories. And sometimes sequels are hard to do. Sometimes they're not. And let's begin this uh, top ten list. So my number ten movie. This was a movie that I was really struggling with which one to put at number ten. And I was caught between two different movies, and I most mostly went with my gut this time around. And I went with number ten. I'll go with Spider-Man Two. Spider-Man Two, I think, is a much improvement of the original Spider-Man movie. I think Tobey Maguire really feels more in his own when he loses his power. Not really sure if he wants to be the Spider-Man. Bring in villains of Doctor Octavius was incredible. Awesome. The CGI, I think the CGI is much improved from the original Spider-Man. And I really, I just really like the journey that the movie goes on. I think Spider-Man 2 is incredible. And then to see, like, in Spider-Man No Way Home, seeing Dr. Octavius again, and also seeing uh, Tobey Maguire, that uh, interaction between the two characters is great. It's great. I think Spider-Man 2 is a terrific film. And the trade scene alone is really cool. My number nine is Kill Bill Volume 2. This is Quentin Tarantino movie. And some people might be calling me crazy for putting Part 2 over Kill Bill 1. But for me, Volume 2 is a better movie. I think the story, I'm always a story guy. And I really like, uh, I really, I just really dig this movie. I like how, I mean really it's all one movie. But part, but part two, I think, has some more story stuff with uh, the bride and Bill's final confrontation, the uh, the journey through killing uh, the rest of the assassins, uh, the journey of her becoming as strong as she is, her training. Uh, I think Kill Bill Volume Two is great. It's one of those great Tarantino movies. It's not my favorite Tarantino movie. It's actually probably one of my least favorite Tarantino movies. But just because it's my least favorite Tarantino movie, it's also his best sequel because. This is the only sequel he ever did. My number eight is a movie I just talked about on my spy movie list, and that is Captain America: The Winter Soldier. I think this is the one. That, I think this is probably the best movie sequel of the MCU because the first Captain America movie, it's good. It's just uh, it, it, it's very of its time. And then when Winter Soldier comes around, it completely blows that movie out of the water. How it basically becomes like a spy movie, a board movie, and then a really cool superhero movie. The, the action is incredible. The story is fun. Seeing characters, actors like Robert Redford playing this, uh, this dick character, the leader of Hydra. I just think Captain America Winter Soldier is a, just a terrific movie. I'll try not to make this movie on my list next month, but hey, 
It's such a good movie, I had to include it again on my top 10. At number 7, I'm going with my favorite movie of the year 2017, and that is Blade Runner 2049. This movie is great, and I'm not the biggest Blade Runner guy, but Blade Runner 2049, I think it's just incredible. The movie is directed by Denny Villeneuve, starring Ryan Gosling. It's also got Ana de Armas, Harrison Ford's back in the iconic role. Uh, this movie is just great. I love the sci-fi-ness of it all. Villeneuve just knows how to create this world, to continue this world. I would love to see a part three. I think uh, Blade Runner 2069 or something. I mean, who knows where, where they would go with it. But I think Blade Runner 2049 is just incredible. The story is great. I've always seen it that one time, but I do love this film. And it's just such cinema perfection by Denny Villeneuve, who's directing the, the sequel to Dude, which... I'm a big fan of this, always. My number six is Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2, I absolutely love. And I do like Toy Story 2 better than the original Toy Story film. I think what I really like about it, it's Woody's movie. It's all about his journey, about how, how maybe he doesn't, because in 10 years, in five, maybe two years, uh, that Andy will no longer love him, which is basically what happens in Toy Story 3. But then he has to, uh, he's like, if I do this, I'll be loved forever, and I just, I just love the story, and then bringing in the new characters of Jesse, Bullseye, the, uh, the really great villain that is introduced, and also, like, the, 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 the ball, or the, the Toy Story stuff is just great, I love Toy Story 2, too, it's great, I like Toy Story 3 more, so if I had all movie sequels, Toy Story 3 would be over Toy Story 2, but Toy Story 2 is still better than Toy Story, so that's why I included it on this list. Number five is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, because, you know, Rise of the Planet of the Apes was just, it's such a good movie. And Dawn of the Planet of the Apes comes out, and it's something that I went, that during this time, movies just weren't doing, and that was making the movie about the apes. Instead of, instead of making the movie about the humans, we made it about the apes. And... The, 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 the story of Koba, how he just sees humans again for the first time in like 10 years and just snaps. And the journey of that, and Gary Oldman, who's a character that you're supposed to root against as a villain, but as the movie goes along, he's like, he's not really the villain. He's just fighting for the human race, and you understand the sacrifices he makes in this movie. And Caesar's journey, and the journey of the ape civilization is just great. I'm so looking forward to Kid of the Planet Apes in two months. That, that's a movie I'm just so looking forward to seeing. So yeah, Dawn of the Planet of Apes is a masterpiece. I can't wait for Kingdom. And also War's pretty good, but it's not as good as Rise or Dawn. But yeah, Dawn had to be included on this list. My number four is Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Star Trek, the, I mean, this is kind of a sequel to a sequel because uh, the Star Trek, the original film, picture, motion picture was a sequel to the original series. But that doesn't really count. We're counting this as the original sequel. Uh, bringing back Khan, who is an iconic villain in the original series. Uh, the great equalizer to, to the Enterprise crew. Uh, Spock sacrifice. He said, oh, I, I, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. And, and then, and then, when William Shatner just goes, Khan! This movie is incredible. Just an absolute masterpiece of the movie. And the movie was made for a very low budget because Star Trek, the motion picture, almost tanked this entire series. But Wrath of Khan, I still think, stands by as one of the greatest pieces of sci-fi material and one of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time. So yeah, Star Trek 2 is awesome. Check it out if you've not checked out Star Trek 2 because it's amazing. My number three is Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I really like Terminator. Jace Cameron, great movie, but Terminator 2 I blows Terminator 1 out of the water. I mean, just uh, the, 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 the CGI in this movie alone still looks good to today. And that's just James Cameron, I think, because, you know, I don't think a movie's as... I don't think James Cameron's directed a movie as good as Terminator 2. And people are going to be like, oh, but Avatar, what about Titanic? 
I think Terminator 2 is far superior. The story is great. Bringing back Sarah Carter, who was this very shy human being character who was just uh, was just barely surviving. She was a damsel in distress. In Terminator 2, she's a damsel in distress. She's ready to kick some ass. And bringing back Arnold as a T-800 to go against the great T-1000, the liquid metal who can basically destroy uh, any man. One is just incredible. And then, yeah, Terminator 2 is just Hasa Visa. Baby, this movie's great. That's why I have to be on so high on this list. My number two is the greatest comic book movie of all time, and that is The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is a sequel to Batman Begins. It tells, it's a retelling of the Joker, Joker coming in, who's basically an anarchist who, who just thrives on chaos. He doesn't care about making money. He just wants control. He wants to have a good time. He's, he lives off that chaos. He goes, do I really look like a guy with my head? I'm gonna make this just all disappear. It's God. And just the Joker is just great in the movie and uh Batman, which is barely a Batman movie, because Batman's barely in it. And I just I just love to see what the Joker does. It's, it's my favorite version of the Joker. And I think this movie's great. Yeah, Dark Knight is a movie that I need to rewatch because and I need to review because I don't think I've ever reviewed it. And I think this is a movie that it's just it's just an incredible film. So yeah, Dark Knight, incredible movie. If you're not checked out the Dark Knight, what? So my number one movie, and this one it should not be a shock to anyone, and that is Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back, the movie sequel of all movie sequels. Empire Strikes Back took what Star Wars, what George Lucas did, the original movie, and completely changes the story of, changes stuff like the, I mean, the Luke, the Han Solo goes, uh, I, where Leia goes, I love you, I know. I mean, I use that line all the time. And, and then this, the, the bringing in Yoda, this cool little puppet thing that could have gone disastrously wrong, but turns out to be just such a cool, cool character. And then you have the battle between, and then you just have Luke, uh, Darth Vader just being an absolute asshole, killing his Imperial uh, captains uh, left to right. Apologies accepted, Captain Nita. You have failed me for the last time. And then that fight between Vader and Luke, the best lightsaber fight. In, I still believe the best lightsaber fight because you just feel the emotion. And you just feel the weight of everyday going on. And everyday Vader does. And then the, the ultimate cliffhanger of uh, like, he's like, he told me enough. He told me you killed him. No, Luke. I am your father. And then the Imperial March, which Empire Strikes Back is my favorite movie of all time. So obviously it has to be my number one movie sequel of all time. So if I ever do complete movie sequels, Empire Strikes Back is going to be number one on this list. So future spoiler for anything, Empire Strikes Back is the movie that I compare all other Star Wars movies to, all other movie sequels to, and that's why it has to be number one. So guys, that is my top ten uh, movie sequels, direct movie sequels. I guess I should really rephrase that. Uh, it's I love I love I love seeing a good sequel to a movie, but you know just like sci-fi movies, I really. I really paid really close attention. There's a lot of movies I didn't include on this list, and just because I want movies that were better than the original film. So guys, what's a movie that you think's the best uh, movie sequel of all time? And are you looking forward to do two coming out today? Whatever they are, comment below. Let me know. And guys, if you like the video, click that subscribe to more Tony Price by Ethan Nation. All too easy.